Mackey Motors in Lake City is the place to find new and certified used vehicles along with a knowledgeable and helpful sales staff. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. Welcome to the Mackey Motors post game show. Find new roads at Mackey Motors of Lake City. And we are joined now by Lance Clayberg. Uh, an impressive night for the junior. He finishes with 17 points. Congratulations on the 24 point victory. You guys get the win tonight, 68 to 44. Let's talk about uh, the win here and get your thoughts. Just you, you pulled away at the end to win by 24. First half was fairly closely contested, but a big third quarter for you guys really put it out of the out of the way. Uh, talk about the win. Uh, yeah, it's just a team effort as always. We like to play team ball. It's fun sharing the wealth. Everyone gets their points, get rebounds, everything. Just fun to play team ball. Tanner Oswald led the team in scoring with 21. He got hot in that third quarter. He hit four threes, and I think he scored 17 or 16, somewhere in there, just in that uh, quarter alone. What was working for him that you saw out there against what the Rocket defense was doing? Uh, I don't really look at the defense too much. He's just a natural playmaker. He knows how to play the game very well. He just runs our offense very well, along with Easton and all everybody else. It's just just feed the hot hand and have fun. It seemed like tonight it would go in spurts. Somebody would have the hot hand, then, then it would move on to somebody else. Early on, it seemed like Raiden Doty was the hot hand. He had 10 in that first half, I think eight maybe in that first quarter. Uh, you guys came out and you led 17-9 to nine at the end of that first quarter. Uh, what was Doty able to do so well early on? He just finds a good spot. He knows where to go, where to be in a certain time, where the ball is at. He knows how to place himself, and he knows how to catch the ball, and that helps. Easton Hayes finishes with four. Gabe Ober, eight. Uh, Floyd and Heidoff each get two. Nice team win for you guys. How did the game play out compared to what you guys were preparing for um, here tonight? Uh, it's pretty much how we play. You know, we go hard on defense. Easton knows how to play great on-ball defense, and we just help out. It's just team ball. As I talked about uh, to Coach McAllister or the girls earlier, uh, this was your last game before break, so you've got maybe some extra practice before Christmas break. You'll take a little break and then get back into it. Three games that first week after break. Uh, what's the outlook for the team here six games in? You guys are 500 and 2 and 3 in the conference. How would you assess this pre-Christmas break portion of the schedule? Uh, just got to keep hacking away at it slowly, slowly but surely. Um, keep practicing, keep staying in shape, and hopefully it turns out good. Awesome. Well, congratulations on the win. Enjoy a little time off after, I'm sure, some practice over the next week. But uh, nice job on the win, and uh, best of luck when we fire up 2022. Thank you. That is Lance Clayberg of the Crusaders joining us here on the postgame show. And now we'll grab Coach Meyer and see if he wants to come on over and uh, grab an interview with Corey Meyer of the winning Crusaders here tonight, and we'll hand the headset off. Coach, congratulations on the win, 68-44 tonight. Uh, overall, were you pretty pleased with the way you guys came out, or were there times where you thought, well, maybe that could have gone a little better? Well, obviously there's times, periods throughout the game that you do some things that you're thinking about, you know, what are we doing? But I thought, you know, for the most part, our defensive effort was really good, you know, especially the first half, and, and I thought we did a good job of trying to really take Cook and, and regale her away. Um, credit to 14, he stepped up and, and uh, the Molina kid made a bunch of shots in that first half and really kept him afloat. Um, so, you know, at, at halftime, our, our two leading scorers didn't have many points and uh, their role player took a bunch of their shots and so I felt really good about where we were at. And then this, really in the third quarter, I just thought we came out and played a little more relaxed and really looked for a shot. You, you guys held Cooper Cook and Will Regaler well under season averages. Those two combined for about 25 points a game. They combined for 11 tonight. Defensively, were you guys honing in on those two at all, or did it just kind of play out that way? No, yeah, we, we take a lot of pride in trying to hold their, their scores down. I thought Easton did a great job really just trying to stay in front of Regaler. And I, I, I mean, he had a couple tough calls against him early, but I thought in the second half he was in legal guarding position, and he moved his feet laterally and just stayed in front. Um, and then I thought we did a good job. Lance did a good job on the Cook kid. We tried to uh, run some backside help once in a while too. So uh, it was good team defense. In that second half, Tanner Oswald really got going. Hit four threes just in that third quarter. Uh, offensively, the third quarter was the best quarter for you guys. Um, and then uh, the other three quarters, you scored anywhere from 13 to 17 points. You put up 23 in that third quarter. And it was also 
tied for your best defensive effort as, as far as giving up points. You gave up nine in that quarter, 12, 14, and nine in the other three quarters. So uh, what was that halftime speech like, and how did it fire up the guys so well? Yeah, <laughs> I can't take a lot of credit. It was a lot. It was honestly, it was you know some of those upperclassmen. I thought Gabe's effort defensively in the third quarter really sparked our offense, and he got out there in ball pressure, got a couple steals. Same thing with Easton, and we were able to run a little bit in transition. Uh, we got a couple easy looks in transition on threes. Uh, sometimes it's hard to score in a half court for us, and if we can throw the ball ahead uh, before the defense is set up, uh, we got to take our chances. You started with a couple of wins to begin the year, a three-game skid. Now you get to go into Christmas break, back to 500 with a win under your belt. How would you assess the first six games of the season, and uh, what are you hoping to uh, work on before uh, a busy week come January 3rd? Yeah, so, uh, I mean, you know, obviously the basketball season is a long season, such a grind. And so we started off pretty well. Uh, we played a couple really good teams, and we were, uh, you know, look back at the Cam game, we were up at half of that. Wes Harrison game, we were up at half of that. Uh, we didn't, we weren't real sharp the other night against Elkhorn and Zyra. Um, but, you know, in all those games, our guys played, I thought, with really good defensive effort. Um, hopefully we get a little bit better at scoring, especially around the baskets. Um, if we can, we've got to continue to make free throws at a higher percentage uh, with our efficiency. We've got a lot of guys that can really attack the basket. And uh, we've got a lot of hidden points that we're not getting from the foul line. I think as soon as we can start doing that, uh, we'll be able to score. You know, we can score 60, 65 points a game. And if we do that with our defense, I think we definitely have a chance. Awesome. Well, congratulations on the win tonight. Some much-needed uh, rest and relaxation, at least uh, maybe for a few days around Christmas. But uh, will you guys be hard at it at work practicing before Christmas? Or do, no, do actually, they get a little we, bit of an extended break? We gave break? them uh, the whole next week off, and so they were really excited about that. Uh, we don't have any games next week at all, so we're going to give them that whole full week off, and then we'll come back the following Monday in practice. And, you know, well-deserved. Those guys play with tremendous effort, so uh, we've got to reward them once in a while. Absolutely. An early Christmas present for the Crusaders. Absolutely. Nice win for you guys tonight, Thank you. Coach. Appreciate it. Appreciate the coverage. That's Coach Meyer joining us from the Crusaders after a win tonight at home over Arweva, 68-44. to 44.